Hey everyone, I'm Harshit and welcome to Introduction to Guitar video series. Till now we have learned the parts of our guitar, how to hold our guitar, different string names and a few open string exercises. In this video, we'll understand a few terminologies and a few more exercises for our left hand which is actually our fretting hand. So first, two terms that we're going to learn is semitone and whole tone. I repeat, semitone and whole tone. So semitone, what it actually means is when we move from a note to just the next note in the sequence. I would like to give it an example. Like, for example, I'm putting off my first finger on the third fret. Right? So if I'm moving from third to the fourth fret, which is actually just the next fret in the sequence. Or if I move from second fret to third fret to the second fret. So this is also just the behind note in the sequence. So I hope you're understanding. When I move from the present note to just the next note or just the previous note, the movement is actually called a semitone. So I repeat it all together. A semitone is actually a movement of just the next or just the previous note. For example, if I'm on the third note of the first string, third fret of the first string, if I'm moving from the third fret to the fourth fret, or if I move from third fret to the second fret, the movement is actually of a semitone. Now, we'll understand what is a whole tone. A whole tone is a movement that such that we leave one note in between. For example, if we move from third fret to the fifth fret, or if we move from third fret to the first fret, the movement done is actually called a whole tone. Now, we would take one more example. If I am plucking the open string E, something like this, and if I move from open string to the first fret, the movement is actually of a semitone. And if I move from first fret back to the open string, the movement is actually of a semitone. But if I move from open string to direct to the second fret, the movement is of a whole tone and vice versa. So these are the two terms, semitone and whole tone. I would like to repeat it. Semitone is a movement when we move from the present note to just the next note or just the previous note. And whole tone is a movement in which we move from first the note, the present note to not just the next note, but we leave one note in between. So if we do a bit of mathematics, we'll understand that one whole tone consists of two semitones. I would like to explain that. If we are on the third fret of the first string, if we move from third to fifth, we're actually covering two semitones, something like third to fourth and then fourth to fifth. So we've, we've actually moved up two semitones to actually reach a whole tone. Now, Another two terms are sharps and flats. Sharp basically means up a semitone and flat means down a semitone. I repeat, sharp means up a semitone and flat means down a semitone. Now, we'll do a bit of fretting hand exercises. The first one is actually what I call a semitone exercise. Now, what all we need to do in this is I need to put my first finger on the first fret of the first string and then I'll pluck it and now I'll put my second finger on the second fret of the first string and then the motion has to be up because in the first case it was down so in the second uh, note it will be up so it will go like and this motion has to be repeated on each and every string so the whole exercise will sound something like this. Now on the second string. On the third string. On the fourth string. On the fifth one. And on the sixth one. So this is 
The movement is of a semitone and this is repeated on each and every string. So I'm going to repeat the exercise for you once again so that you memorize it. It'll go like this. Very simple exercise. Okay, the second exercise of the fretting hand is actually known as the whole tone exercise. This one is very similar to the semitone exercise. All we have to do is the movement has to be changed to that of a whole tone. I'll demonstrate it for you. It'll be like Now as you can see, I have not used the middle finger for playing the third fret. I've used my third finger which is actually my ring finger. So this is a couple of exercises to start off with your fretting hand. Now we'll move to a little more advanced exercises. The first one being the one, two, three, four exercise. The movement has to be simple. I mean it's simple, the movement has to be something like this. And this movement has to be repeated on each and every string while going from first to the sixth string. Now, I would like to mention that you need to try not to lift up your fingers while playing the successive frets. By that, I mean when you're playing the first fret and then you play the second fret, try not lifting the first finger. And then when you play the third fret, try not to lift the first two fingers they should stay in position and then finally when you hit the fourth fret with your little finger try keeping all those fingers intact on the fretboard and repeat this th same thing same thing on all the strings so let's practice this once again so here it goes So one thing I would like to mention is the movement on the right hand has to be up and down alternate motion as I have already told you before. So this one was one, two, three, four exercise. The next exercise that we have is known as steps exercise. In this exercise, the, we'll follow a pattern. The pattern is one, two, one, three, one, four, and then we come back one, three, and one two I repeat we're gonna follow a pattern in the steps exercise it'll be something like one two one three one four one three and one two and this pattern is to be repeated on each string so let's give it a shot it'll go like this and this motion has to be repeated on each and every string so let's do it. On the third string. On the fourth one. one that's it so if you're finding it a little difficult in the beginning that's completely no issue because these are obviously our muscles and they need some time to tune themselves and one thing I would like to mention again the right hand motion has to be up and down similar to every exercise that we have done before if you want me to repeat it I'll do it once again so here it goes now I'd like to focus on the right hand also.
and now the last of our fretting hand exercises this one is known as spider exercise now since it's called a spider exercise the movement is similar to that of a spider we'll first plug the first fret then the third one then the second one and the fourth one so the motion has to be alternate instead of plucking the second fret as in the one two three four exercise we now are plucking the third fret after the first one and then the second one and then the fourth one so the pattern is one three two four i'll play it for you once so that you can have a look i'll play it on the first string itself first so it goes like this and this motion has to be repeated on each and every string while keeping the up and down motion on the right hand so let's do it for you once So this, which is the last one of our fretting hand exercises, is a little tricky one, so it'll take some time for you to memorize it. So all in all, in this video, we have learned what is a semitone, what is a whole tone, and then we learned what is a sharp and a flat. And then we did few other fretting hand exercises. The first one being the semitone exercise, the second one being the whole tone exercise, and then we did what was the one, two, three, four exercise. Then we did which was called the steps exercise. And the last one being the spider exercise. Now you can take your own time practicing the lessons and keep watching the videos, keep working hard. See you guys in the next lesson.